This is Kristen Rosicki with Vandalia with our fourth vlog entry in the U.S. Event Horse Futurity. Starting out with a video clip from our Young Event Horse class we did in Aiken at Full Gallop Farm. She really started off this test quite nicely and I was thinking we were going to put in a pretty good test, but the longer we were in the ring she started to get pretty um, backwards and sulky. So the clips that I've kind of put together in this dressage test are going to highlight those points. As we kind of come around the corner here to cross our diagonal, it's the first time I put my leg on and she really just dead stops and tells me no. Um, and then the next part that we'll go into is the right lead canter, which it kind of uh, continues to get worse and worse. So um, kind of heading home after this, I really made sure that nothing was bothering her physically. It's always the first thing you want to make sure you scratch off the list. So um, at this point she had been barefoot all the way up until now and I went ahead and put four shoes on her just so that she didn't have that for any excuse. Um, the other thing was she's kind of been a little bit back sore and tight here and there. Nothing terrible but sometimes the young horses can be a little bit more dramatic. Um, and especially with her being a filly, I didn't want to really give her any reasons to be anything but good. So you see here, this is part of the jumping test and the majority of the behavior went away, which makes me think it has more to do with training than it does with um, physical pain. Um, but kind of going back to what I ended up doing to fix the problem training wise, she's such a smart mare. I think that with the young horses, it's always a balance of making sure you're being fair, but then also not kind of um, giving in so much that you're promoting bad behavior. I think this horse isn't a huge fan of contact, um, also is not a big fan of me wrapping my leg around her and sending her forward. So maybe what started as kind of a genuine kind of misunderstanding coming from a baby horse when I had contact and her not understanding to go forward to it, then turned into a little bit of a naughty behavior when she figured out when she acted backwards and nappy, I would then kind of loop the rein and give her that freedom. So she started to use it against me. So once I came home from that show, I really worked on um, making her think a little bit more forward and down and out to the contacts. So you'll see here in the video, I'm stretching her. I'll use that as a tool um, as I'm warming her up if she's ever feeling tight in her back especially. And then I, I always use it as a cooling down exercise. So it just gets her thinking about going out to the contact, accepting the feel a little bit more, gets her swinging through her back, will help me build muscle over her top line and hopefully relieve some of that discomfort she might be feeling through her tight back. I also spent a lot of time just working on transitions and transi transitions within the gate. So just a lot of forward and back, forward and back, so that I wasn't only using my leg in times of desperation when she had already gotten backwards and against me. So the more I kind of um, worked on the obedience of that, the better and better she got and the less I found myself having to kind of make a desperate attempt to get her back out in front of my leg once she was getting a bit naughty. So this is a clip from a Jim Graham clinic we did once we got back home to Chicago. Um, this is about a month later from uh, the show clip. And you can see, I think the, the four shoes is certainly helping her. Um, her canter looks much more three beaded and loose. And then she's also just getting further along in her training and more accepting of my aids. Um, the jumping portion of this clinic, we just worked on turning with the outside aids. And then this particular exercise is just making her a little bit more rideable. So certainly a, a lot more than what I had been doing with her. She rose to the occasion, which was nice. She also handled the atmosphere of this indoor quite well. She really hasn't seen too many indoors, so I was quite happy with um, how well she settled in and went right to work. So um, overall takeaway from the clinic is um, just getting her a little bit more through, getting her thinking about using her back. Um, not only on the flat work, but also to the jumps. So I'm going to leave you with that for this month. And by next month, we should have another show under our belts.